For this project I bought a small bunny toy and I would like to transform it into a bunny robot or bunny bot by adding some movement. First I need to open the bunny and see what's inside and then uh, take all the material out so I make place for the motors. I'm using this quite flexible wire for the structure of the ears and then attaching it to the servo that will control the movement of the ear. So this is the first test. So the ear can rotate and I will be using uh, two servos. I just need to find a way in which I can have the two servos uh, together, standing still. So my first approach was to use um, the 3D Doodler, uh, so I can uh, by hand 3D print a structure that will support the two servos. However, in the end the structure was not uh, enough and uh, I ended up putting a lot of wires uh, around the servos. So I'll be using two servos for the ears and one for the nose. All the three servos will sit in the head so I actually can fill the rest of the body with uh, the material so the bunny will still be soft. I'm using a Wemos board to control the servos and I programmed uh, several actions that the bunny can do like moving the ears either together or individually and then um, moving the nose a bit and then uh, created a function to randomize all these actions uh, so I actually don't know which action uh, comes next. This adds a bit of um, lifelike uh, movement to the bunny. And finally I added all the electronics inside the body of the bunny and uh, left the micro USB port uh, close to the end of the bunny so that I can connect the battery to it or, or a cable to program additional functionality. This was a cool one day project and uh, now the bunny bot is in the hands of some happy children. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to see more videos like this.